Well, good morning, everybody. Graham here, Active Monash. I hope you are all doing well in this lockdown period that we have. Uh, this morning, I've got a Strong for Life program for you, and you are going to need a little bit of equipment. You're going to need a barbell. So, you don't have a barbell? Well, maybe you have a backpack, and I'm sure you would have some books that you could put in the backpack to provide you with a, uh, a weight that will suffice for this particular uh, little workout. So, that's step one. You're going to need some dumbbells, so you don't have any dumbbells, you say. I'm sure you've got drink bottles, and we've discussed this before. So get those drink bottles out, filled with water or filled with sand, and you've got a couple of very, very adequate dumbbells that you'll be able to use. Many of you may actually have a set of dumbbells, which is what I'm going to be using. You also need a, a tennis ball. So you don't have a tennis ball, you say. Get a pair of socks out of your sock drawer. That will also do. And you're going to need some cones. You'll see some cones in the background there. And I know you won't have any cones, but I bet you've got an old brick or a rock, two or three rocks, a brick, a couple of bottles. Uh, you can set out the same sort of course. So this morning we've got some warm up and I'm at my local park. It's beautiful here very little wind and I've done a couple of laps of the oval but you might do some running on the spot you might briskly walk around the block or jog around your block that's fine and then we're going to do some activation we've got a couple of uh, routines around strength and then we've got some cardio and agility we'll get that heart rate going for you and then we've got some balance that will be combined with our agility as well we'll test how agile you are and indeed I am as well because there's a pretty pretty difficult uh, balance exercise that I'll be showing you this morning. And then after all of that, you might be a little bit warm, so we'll cool down with some stretches. Now, I'm only going to do, uh, I'm only going to demonstrate one uh, set of each of the little sets. Um, you do two or three sets, ideally three sets of each, and then you're going to have a workout that's going to be close to an hour for you. Uh, so without any further ado, as I said, I've been around the block, I'm warmed up, uh, I'm going to activate my lower body. So, just some high knees. About 30 seconds of each of these. Oh, 10 or 12. Whatever you can manage. Ideally 30 seconds worth. And then we're going to have some hip act activation. Up on one leg, watch your balance on this one. Around, out and around. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and the other way, out and in. That's getting those hips uh, all nice and warm. Couple more. 9 and 10. Now we're going to do some side steps, a little bit, a little bit of energy. About 30 seconds as I said. And get the heart rate and get a little bit further warm and back to the centre. Now some grapevines. Everybody loves doing the grapevine. Make sure you've got your music happening guys. Due to licensing reasons, I can't have music on, but that doesn't mean that you can't. Make sure you've got music happening in the background and get a real joy and do each step to the beat of the music. And there we go, walking on the spot. Okay, so that's the warm up, that's the activation. Jog around the oval, four exercises. Heart should be elevated a little bit. We can still have a conversation. And I'm a little bit sweaty, so that's the way you should be too. Two sets of those. Now into the strength, strength, first strength set. So I'm picking up my trusty backpack. I'm holding it close to my chest. Very similar to a goblet squat. Feet about shoulder width apart. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 
nine and ten and there we go you just shake those legs out a little bit if you've got a lactic acid build up now i'm going to take a few steps back to show you how to do a walking lunge twist here we go So there's five. Do ten of those. So turn around and do another another five. And you've got ten all together. With your trusty backpack weight. Easy to put together. Next one, double leg hops. So I'm going to take a few steps back again so I can demonstrate these to you. There we go, double leg hops. So in our first routine, we've got backpack squats, walking lunge twist, great for the core, and then we've got double leg hops. That's the first routine. The second routine, deadlift, upright row, and we're gonna exercise our real rear deltoids as well with our dumbbells. But to begin with, this one, holding the weight like so, our backpack like so, Feet shoulder width apart, nice straight legs, and poke our bottom out to the back and keep those legs as straight as you can, right down through the movement, and up, and shoulders back. Two. Three. Suck that tummy in right through all of these exercises. Make sure you're engaging your core because there's, these are all core exercises as well. Another four. One. Two. Three. And last one, four. Great stuff. Okay. So, I think I said bent over row before. It's actually an upright row that we're going to do. So we hold the straps like so. Nice straight stance, tummy in, engage that core right throughout all of these, leading with the elbows. One, two, three, up to the chin, four. Oh, the sun's coming out now, lovely morning here in Melbourne. I think we've got three more to go, one, two and three beautiful everybody down this is where you're going to need your dumbbells i'm using my own dumbbells for this one and we're going to exercise the rear delts so i'll stand side on feet shoulder width apart i'm going to hinge at the hip and bend down almost parallel to the floor to the ground and we'll get going nice straight back and up Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's it. That's the second routine. It's a strength routine, and we had a deadlift, we had an upright row, and we've also done our rear deltoids. Now, beautiful out here this morning about 18 degrees which is really nice for this time of the year and there's uh, council workers in the background I hope they're not too distracting on our audio nonetheless okay so now we're going to do some cardio with some agility so I'm going to be needing my course back here uh, but to begin with our very very first one uh, side shuffles then we've got hopping on one leg turning while running and then my T run, which you're wondering what all of that is. So I'll demonstrate them. So side shuffles. Uh, I hope I don't go out of frame, but I'm going to do about four that way, four that way, a couple of times. And here we go. One.
Okay, so side shuffles. About 30 seconds of each of these exercises. Side shuffles to and fro. 30 seconds. Hopping on one leg. Now I'm going to go back. I'll hop on my right leg to begin with and then I'll do a second set on my left. Here we go. And back for the other leg. Okay, so there we go. Hopping on alternate legs. That's going to make it nice and active. That's going to help your balance as well, which is our next little routine. All helping you stay agile, helps your coordination. If there's any likelihood of a fall, you're going to be able to stop yourself. Now, running while turning. I'm going to start off running backwards and I'm going to turn, run forward, turn, run backward. And, uh, and be careful of this if you've got any balance issues. Turning might make you uh, uh, a little bit unbalanced. So if that's the case, Walk it out briskly, don't jog or run. But here it goes. Go again. Turning while jogging, turning, turning while walking fast. Whatever you can comfortably do and safely do. Last one, T-run. Now you set out your rocks or your bricks out the back there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run to the middle cone, side shuffle to the outside cones, and run backwards to here. And I'll do it twice. Here we go. Now there we go, T run. Now you can see where the T is now. Run out, side shuffle each side, run backwards to your start point. And as you can see from my respiration, it's elevated a little bit and so should yours be. But it's also agility, changing direction, hopping, um, all going to help that agility. So necessary, help bone density as well. Make those muscles and bones nice and strong in your lower body. Okay, maybe it's time for you to get a drink. I'd like to have a drink, but we've got a couple of little routines to go. And remember I said, I'm demonstrating one routine of each of these. You do each of them for 30 seconds uh, for two or three times, and you've got a complete workout uh, that will be really enjoyable. Last one, balance and agility. So a really easy one to begin with. Up on one leg, couple of seconds, rock to the other one, other side, rock to the other. It's called rocking the boat and just rock from one leg to the other and staying on one leg for two or three seconds at a time. Nice and easy. Next one's not quite so easy. Also balance, have to be agile for it. Uh, and it's good for the lower body as well. It's called a curtsy lunge. I'm taking a few steps back to demonstrate that for you. Front leg over the rear leg and curtsying as if you would to Queen Elizabeth. And there we go. That's a curtsy lunge. So each one of these, as I said, 30 seconds each, uh, if you can, or as many as you can possibly do. This is where you're going to need your tennis ball. So pick up your tennis ball or a pair of socks from your sock drawer. Exercise is gradually getting more difficult in this balance and agility uh, set. So up on one leg, gain balance, and then over and under. A little bit testing, 
sure you can do it keep that balance keep going there we go and other side under and over make sure you've got a chair nearby if you are really balanced challenged and you might just do something like this holding the chair but for everybody else here we go okay so that's the third most difficult so far now this next one certainly challenges me I'd imagine that it will challenge most of you as well so what we do go toe to heel for the first demo hold the ball make sure you've got balance and start chucking the ball up very challenging indeed and catching the ball our visual system is sending mixed messages to our feet where we do feel our balance um, so we, we, we actually feel balance and maintain our center of gravity through our feet and our visual system is confusing our feet by the changing conditions as we throw the ball up and down there we go I've got it now focus on the ball it's called proprioception and your feet play an amazing part as you all know in maintaining balance proprioception so there's three areas of balance there's your inner ear there's our visual eyesight and there's proprioception which is through senses through our feet so other side I've changed the position of my feet throw the ball up focus on the ball and it's a little bit easier if you let your eyes wander off into the sky your eyes confuse your feet and your balance as well now toe to heel that's difficult enough up on one leg and same again focus on the ball and practice that one other side okay so there's that one so there's four exercises there balance and agility rock the boat curtsy lunge high ball high knees ball under and over and toe to heel one leg throwing the ball up and down now balance is really important everybody of the entire population one in four people fall and seriously hurt themselves every year but by the time we get to 60 it's one in three people that are falling every year and having a serious outcome by the time we get to 80 it's one in two people have a fall now if you have a fall over 80 and break your hip for instance we're in pretty serious trouble 20% of those people do not recover so and, and pass within 12 months so balance training is the easiest one to get better at but you need to do it at least 10 to 15 hours 10 to 15 minutes uh, three times a week after six months you'll start to um, you'll start to retain uh, what you've been doing for the first six months but if you drop it off it actually goes as quickly as you can learn to do it so that's it everybody uh, a little bit of cool down so if you've done three sets of all of those you're a little bit pooped so let's finish up with a bit of a cool down and some stretch and let's first of all go into a quadricep stretch now if you balance challenge the game make sure you've got your chair nearby and holding on to that otherwise and hold all of these stretches if you can for about 30 seconds other side I was climbing Mount Dandenong the other day and fell, so I've got a very, very sore knee. So forgive me if I'm a little bit ginger. Okay. Now let's do a calf stretch. Heel of the rear leg on the ground and that doesn't rise off the ground and bend your rear knee. Bend that rear knee and you're going to get a beautiful stretch down through your calf and indeed your Achilles as well beautiful feeling nice stretch other side now I'm not doing these for 30 seconds you make sure you do and hold these for at least 20 preferably 30 seconds each and up hamstring 
toe up, bending over that straightened leg and hold. The longer you hold this, the more you're going to be able to go down and get an even better stretch through the hamstring. And other side, and down, and up. Final stretch, chest stretch. So clasp those hands together behind your back and push down on those clasped hands. And as you do, allow your shoulders to go back and look up to the sky and relax those shoulders. Push down ever more on those clasped hands at the back and hold. And hold for a beautiful chest stretch and release. Okay, so that's it everybody. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Uh, you'll be able to print off the workout and see the detail of it. But until next time, hope to see you all uh, in the gym very soon. Graham signing off. Bye.